Oh, I am live. Hi, everybody. Oh, Christine's here. Hi, Christine. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Ali. Hi, everybody. Christine, the link oh, is I in. Am live. Hi, everybody. Oh, oh why am I hearing myself Hi. twice? Well, it's probably because I start. I got to turn you off. Deborah, no, I had me on YouTube, oh. even though oh. I can't see. Oh, good night. Okay. Okay. I still can't see the chat on my YouTube on here. Look, it's not coming up. Well, that's just not right. Yeah, There's got to be some up. button you got to push. Why am I? Wait a minute. It's not coming up. That's not me. I I done well, switched mine off. Right. Let me go see. All right, I'm off. I'm oh. my... There. Okay, it was me. Okay. We well, good. Well, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> Well, maybe are we good? Okay. That sounds all good. Okay, let's roll. We should, hi, Clint. How you doing? Hey, Clint. Oh, now, now my Google. Hey, back. hey, Kristen, Deborah. Well, I don't know if Deborah and Ale's back yet, but. Oh yeah. Okay. I still don't understand why it's not coming up. <sighs> how is everybody? And Vixia, hey, Vic. I'm, I'm going to, chat's going to be a little slow for me because I don't have it coming up on my, well, goodness gracious, on my thing. She's having technical difficulties. Well, technical difficulties. And she made up for yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I got a boo-boo. I got an official boo-boo. Yes, she does. Okay, and if for some reason my my computer goes down. Martha's going to be in charge for a while. I'm still trying to get the live chat up. It's not working. Why is that? Okay. And if I do it on my computer, I don't even know. I'm going to try to do it on my computer. And if it starts making funny noises, I'll stop. Don't make funny noises. Oh, yes. Never mind, it was making funny noises. So I'm just going to be a little bit behind on chat. That's all. Okay. All right. So today, where did he go? All right. Today, I'm trying to make, I'm going to try to needle felt a tiny mouse. Now, as you, on the picture, it showed you, this is the normal size of the mice I do. Um, and this is the size I'm going to try to create. Um, I I guess I should say start off by saying I use um, Serafina products. This is her Stab It Rabbit. And I definitely use all of her wool because um, I happen to, it's a very good quality wool. And where, especially when you're first starting out, you really don't want, my opinion, you really don't want to use wool that you find at craft stores. Like if you start knitting or crocheting and you get the wool, you know, some cheap wool just to see if you can do it, that's one thing. But with this type of a thing, uh, with needle felting, it really is a good idea to invest in the the better wool and she's not expensive believe me so i'm going to make the little mouse in this color and i forgot if this was acorn or 20 that you buy um but i what what i am going to do is i'm going to take a core wool now this is the core wool martha should i just put it all on me for a little bit yes ma'am Okay, hopefully, here we go. This is the core wool. It's very, it's very fluffy and it needle felts up really easily. I'm just gonna take a piece because I really don't need a lot of core wool when I'll show you what I'm doing. I just ripped off a piece and I'm going to wrap all of the wire now. Um, let's go back backwards a little bit. Sarah 
of Serafina Art. Hey, Barbara, how are you, sweetie? I'm a little bit delayed because I can't get chat up on my phone. I don't know why. Um, I learned how to needle felt. She, besides selling wool and needles and stab it wabbits, uh, she also has many, many videos on how to needle felt animals uh, and different things. And I learned how to needle felt from her, from watching her videos. A lot of, many of them are free. It's just that some of them, when you get into the higher levels, you do have to buy the DVDs, but there is so much for free. You can do so much and you can learn so much just from the videos that she has on YouTube. I have the link to her store, which also links all of her YouTube uh, videos. And somewhere on the store, she gives you a list of different projects if you're a beginner, if you're a medium, or if you're advanced. So she also breaks it up for you there. Uh, it's very good instructions. And that's how I learned to needle felt the mouse. <laughs> what I decided to do was I decided to make it my own. And that's by that, that was the reason why. I combined needle felting with polymer clay because I was a po I used polymer clay in the past. So a lot of the measurements, well, at least for this size, sort of follow what I was taught when I was watching those videos. But then I saw I wanted to make it my own, and had, and I did that by again uh, using polymer clay for the feet, the paws, the eyes the nose, and of course, the hands. Now, I used to uh, use polymer clay to make things, and the person I learned how to sculpt using polymer clay was from this book. It's called Creating Lifelike Animals in Polymer Clay from Catherine Dewey. And if you are interested in sculpting animals, this is a great book to get. I'm not going to flip through it because I don't know about copyright laws, but this is a fabulous book. And I think it's still um, on Amazon that you can get this book. She has step-by-step -step instructions, everything from uh, what clays to buy, how to handle your clay. Everything is in here. And she gives, I don't know, about 10 different animals. There's a frog she also does. And she gives you uh, different ways at the end of the book on how you can paint them. Uh, like this rabbit is done a little bit differently. After you learn how to do the rabbit and do it in normal colors like brown and whites, then she does it a little bit differently so it looks almost like marble. It's a very fascinating book. So I took two different things and I combined it into one to make it my own. So with and you do a good job at it too. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank Very you. Martha's with me. And uh, she's still trying to fix stuff. Now, a lot of time, the first thing you usually do, or what Sarah uh, explained to do, is after you do your wire armature, you wrap it in uh, pipe cleaners. But I don't have that much room to wrap anything in pipe cleaners. So I'm just going to take a real fine piece of this. And the reason why you're doing this is so that you have something to needle felt into. Do you have oh, Barbara, I hurt myself. I hurt myself just before, and I'll show you the project I hurt myself on. Okay, you lay your, your um, wool here, and you just start wrapping around the wire. Now, I'm not really pulling this too tight because it's a very thin piece and I don't want it to break. But I'm just giving myself something to, when I put more needle, uh, more wool on this to needle felt into. Hi, Shirley. Shirley's here? Yeah. Hi, yeah, Shirley. Yeah, I, I still can't see it on my thing on YouTube. Mm, for some reason, she can't get her chat box. I can't get it. I can only. I can only see it when it finally decides to come. You got your volume up on your phone? No, I have no volume on my phone. Okay. 
I heard a little bit of an echo a minute ago. So. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. And I, my people, got Sharon's box, and we are going to do a show and tell. Ooh. Yes, when my daughter comes home, Martha got a lot of stuff. I don't need to needle felt that yet. I don't even know if this is going to work. I'm hoping this is going to work, honestly. Um, if not, then I'm just going to polymer clay the entire thing. And once we get a few more people, I'm definitely going to give the link to Sarafina and her store so that you can look at her products and look around on what she has and what she doesn't have. The only thing is like there's certain things that um, the wool, the needles, and something to needle felt on. I've never used a foam. Some people use those foam squares. I've never used one of those, so I can't say if I like it or not or if it's good or not. I've always used this. This is a burlap that you put rice in. Um, the only thing that I would say if you wanted to buy outside of the store is like if you want to get a clover tool and this thing holds up to three needles, I only put two. I only put two in there. That and a seam ripper is very important, but most of you who so have a seam ripper, which is that. Yours, is, yours is purple and it's dandy. <laughs> it's, pretty, yeah, it's pretty. And then this is the, called the punch tool, and this can hold up to five needles. Let's see. It locks. There you go five uh too many things five needles uh -huh. those are things that you don't necessarily have to buy at her store because you might be able to get better deals elsewhere but i know that a lot of people have asked me about getting the wool at um other places besides and i really to me i i i've i've looked at um a certain craft store. I don't want to get in trouble for saying that. And it was like, no, the wool, they are really stuck. So, and now I'm just felting a little bit just to make sure that it stays on there. I saw Bo on uh, Facebook. She responded to something. I don't know what. But I did see her recently respond. Yeah, I haven't seen okay. her at any shows or anything. But she's busy with her husband, right? Yeah. Wonder if he got a little worse. Or he I might be needing a whole lot of TLC and she's yeah. giving him all that. Well, I would think it's a pretty hard thing to do, really. Yeah. I mean, you know, a person that used to walk and talk is now in bed doing whatever. It's like, wow. And if you were never trained, I don't know. Hey, there's Telly. Hi, Telly. Hi, Telly. Um, a person who hasn't, I don't know if Bo had any training in nursing, but just the actual lifting of someone, you know, you have to learn how to do that so that you don't break your back. Right. <clears throat> and learn the techniques of changing sheets and yes. yeah i learned a lot when um herb's mom was sick and we were all over there and margaret was showing us how to do this and how to do yeah. that and it's like wow and then i passed that on to my aunt down in arkansas four years ago when my uncle passed we had to and they went and yeah so i taught her a few things down there and that's a lot to do with a person in bed well i had to give my father diabetic shots because he was in a nursing home but when i took him out for the day i'd have to give him a shot and i have to tell you that was not fun for me i mean they made me practice on an orange you know, they gave me a needle to practice on an orange so I would get the feel of how to insert a needle into a person. Yeah. 
it's and um and thank goodness he never flinched because if he flinched that would have been, <laughs> that would have been it that would have been the end of my giving him shots <sighs> Okay, so now that I have a little bit of wool around his, around the wire, I can start needle felting. Like, I'm not needle felting, I am needle felting. I'm gonna start bringing in the color I wanna use. Most of the time when you're making a critter, you use the core wool. And that's one of the reasons why is because it's the least expensive and it also gives you a lot of fluff. So you don't have to be, um, like with with this stuff, you don't want to use your really good stuff on the inside. So you use the core wool, and which is cheaper, cheaper, probably. and fluffier. And um, you could also use core wool. I've made uh, snowmen just using the core wool, and it's fine. It it's fine to use it, um, but. It's more cost effective to use it this way and it's faster. So now I'm gonna use my color. Let me just take a piece off. And I'm just going to, again, very take a very thin strip just to wrap it in this color. Hi, Jack. Hoback says hubby is watching. Say hi to Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. What are you hijacking, Jack? His nose is getting a little big here, so I'm not sure about that. I don't like big noses on my mice. So it's not taking a lot of uh, wool to do this so far. Okay. I like pointy noses on my mice. And I don't know if I made the wire long enough, but let's try to just see the body wise. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it really doesn't look like very much right now. It just looks like a pointed. Nothing. And a pointed nothing. Hey. A pointed nothing. That's a good description. Ain't that though? Oh, he's waving and said, "Don't say that in an airport." <laughs> About the hijack. Is he with you, Christine, or is he somewhere else watching? Tell Russell hi too. Hi, Russell. Hi, Russell. That's my girlfriend's brother's name, Russell. That's Linda's brother. Does anybody okay. know? You want me to? You want? Are you starting? I'll split. Well, no, I'm kind of watching you, but I was going to tell everybody that uh, in this box of stuff that I got from Sharon was a box with stuff in it. And the box is a tad bit, a little too big, but it's perfect size for the card. So I'm going to try to figure out how I want to decorate the box. Nice. So I'm going to be thinking about that and trying some stuff when June is doing this. So Yeah, there we go. Hi, Jack. <laughs> so anybody, hi, Jack. Hi. We got them all. Oh, Jack is here. Oh, geez, Christine, I'm so confused. You know me. Sorry. I Russell is sleeping. Out. Jack is here. Jack, that means her husband is there with her. Yeah. Now, I forgot which shape. June um, makes it all so confusing. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, hey, that, that's my job in life. I forget. I think it's. I forgot what shape she called this, but here we go. 
It's so it should be more rounded on the ends. Okay. And it's much easier to do this when you're doing it with a lot of yarn. And I guess I should have used a different color so people can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me show you. So you wrap this around so it gives it some like bulk up over here. This is really hard to do small. Okay. The reason why I keep trying to um, pinch the front is because I want the nose to be, I like my little noses to be more pointed. I think this is even smaller than the... Um, those mice we would with those, that mice I did at Christmas time. What were we doing? Those nutcracker. I think this guy is even smaller than the nutcracker. Have you decided what paper you're gonna do? No, I was just putting your live here and uh, all in the details. Oh, okay. No, I'm trying to figure out. Um, let's see. Be right back. Okay, let's show that. Why is it not? Let me vacuum before my mom comes home. Yeah, you better do that, Kristen. Get your chores done. Jack, drive safe. Drive safe, Jack. Okay, so... Um, since you open it up and it looks like the outside of a house. Hold on, I'm going to split us. Okay, fine. Whatever you feel like you got to do. I'm splitting us. Um, oh, Barbara, were you telling Christine to tell him to drive safe or were you telling me to tell him to drive safe? I got a little confused here. <laughs> It's like Barbara's telling me to tell him to drive safe. Drive safe. He went to take a shower. I see Hoback said. Oh, so he didn't. That's know. Russell. Right? Russell's Hoback. Yep. Okay. I was telling him. Well, you have to. Oh, we told him there, Barbara. Okay, Miss Wiggins. Mrs. Wiggins. You have to make a card, Barbara. It was your um. Yeah. It was your challenge. <laughs> oh well, did Telly make a tag? I'm not sure. I think so. There was quite a few of them. Like the day after she said it, they had a whole bunch of them up already. Oh okay. There's my daughter. Okay, hold on. I think there's my daughter. She's having problems getting in. You okay, bud? Okay. Martha, you want me to put it solely on you so that you can show everybody what you got? or? I guess because I, I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. Solo layout. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. Out of that box came... A bracelet and it's got little kind of like teardrop beads cool it got um a copper locket which i like and just got a whole bunch of mixed up stuff a guitar pick that says Lord, um, Lordy, I think, or Lucky. Lucky, yeah, it says Lucky. And a little cross with clothes in it. 
this I love because I like hearts. A little heart peace heart pe sign. It goes from blue to green. And it says forever. So that's going to go in my pile. Earrings. Which are kind of broken. So they can be taken apart and used for mixed media and stuff. And these earrings are, I was just looking at it. The earring. And look at, it's a flip-flop top. So if I took and cut half of them off, I can make some type of flip-flops. My nails I did today. They're purple with purple glitter with blue specks in it. And a necklace, which I think, um, I don't know if I'm going to keep that or what yet. That would be kind of cool for a mixed media. And here is the rest of it. All right. This I want to go through first because this was really cool. And I love the box because it's magnet. Look at the rings. This one I love. It's like a rose gold. Oh, where are we at? This one's a little owl. Which that one is going to go in a box over there. This one I absolutely love. Because I like hearts. That's the only finger it really fits good on. Little rhinestone. This little gadget. Kind of odd, but it fits my pinky also. Look at it. Come on, autofocus. It's a mood ring. I'm waiting to see if it changes. It helped. Yeah, I guess I could probably Google what the colors are. And then this hematite ring that would be used for crafting. So that I'm wearing tomorrow. This is kind of cool. It's got a chain. I don't know. I have to clean it, I think, but. It's pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. All right, so them ones I'm keeping. Yeah, well, anyway. So there's that. Bubble wrap for Nikki. <laughs> um, look at the goodies in this and the container. I mean, we've got. Oh, we got magnet ones. Yep. Earrings. We got earring backings and lobster claws, pins, tons of hopefully very good, very good jump rings. Oh, yeah, they're nice and thick. Pins. I mean, this thing. Okay, here we go. You ready? Um. This is four-piece silver memory wire bracelet coils. So there's memory wire, memory wire, memory wire, more memory wire, which I do not have any ring, another memory wire. And another one. And we have memory wire. And we have memory wire. Hold on, I'm not done. Another one. And another one. And another one. Wait a minute. And another one. 
I that's enough memory wires to last me a lifetime, people. And these are one of these packages that had like four ninety nine on them. So that's some bucks right there. Thank you very much, Darren. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Julian. June is um. I guess I can come up here a little bit. Though. June is tending to her daughter, so she will be back shortly. We have a four out bracelet with little half moons that are rhinestones. This is a belt buckle, but that can be used for mixed media. What do we got here? Oh, we got lots of beads that are. You could use them for jewelry, but that would be like a mixed media pack right there. We have all oh, okay. I went through it briefly. I don't know what all is in everything, so we're gonna take this apart. So what do we got here? We've got wow, these are like um okay macrame dudes kind of big holes oh look at that oh, them are cool oh it's probably me talking in the background sorry my daughter and i were talking these i absolutely love oh they're like a no. guide uh, mother of pearl that's exactly what they are actually oh these are cool as heck oh yeah, let me get some light over here there we go Aren't them neat? Them are cool. Okay, then we've got more like these are all glass or ceramic beads. Okay. Oh, I love stone beads. Oh, I got the chat. Yay. Oh, Thank good. You. Don't touch it. No, I, I got it on my, my phone. Ooh, big beads. What is this thing? It's some type of bead, but it almost looks like a bell. I think these are all metal. These are metal beads. Real thin. I think that one's a bell. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, these are ceramic. This is very... Oh, this is... Oh, my God. That's tiger eye. Wow, is that cool? That's going to put put on a rope for a bracelet. These, I ain't figured out what they are. Maybe they're a pepper or maybe a banana. It could be type of banana. Hey, Cynthia. How are you? Okay, so here's some cording. Oh, now what? Ooh, look at some. Oh, my gosh. Look at crystals wow those are cool and little bees the oh potomac copper butterfly head sweet oh and look at these are hollow brass pine cones wow Dang, Sharon, that's a big bead. That'll be fun to make some type of, like a macrame bracelet out of. And what do we got here? This is a copper oval belly. Ooh. That's a real copper. Oh, and some quartz. I think that's some quartz. My gosh, Martha, how much did you get? I just came in. And that was just out of one little bag out of here, honey. This oh, okay. Well, look at this. Oh, These no. are real metal beads. Wow. I think they're real metal. They feel it. They're heavy enough. Just, just, uh, um, just stuff. Look at this. My gosh. It's got to be all taken apart and. 
Oh, look at that one. Oh, so that's a three strand. Oh, look at that. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Here's a pack of mini bling charms, which has got little hearts and just little, you know, plastic balls. Because you are making everything go nutsy. Here's a, uh, a necklace. This I want to take out and see what it is. It's a necklace, but it might be cool enough to wear with something. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, that's quite long. Wow, look at all those beads. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's different. Cynthia, I just want to say I'm sorry for your loss. It, uh, it, she lost Cynthia lost her mom about six months ago, and she's still having a hard time, so she wrote that. So I just want to say I'm sorry. It it takes a long time when you lose somebody that you love. Very that's much. right, honey. It takes a very long time. Actually, Cynthia, it will never go away because our mothers have always been our best friend and all that stuff. Even my mom's been gone since 06 and I still wish she was still here. It takes a very long time, honey, but we know your pains, but this is pretty cool. I don't, some things I don't want to mess with. I might wear that with something. Okay, fine. Um, oh my God. People are just, it's just filled with goodies. Just, Look at all these. I forgot what they're called, but I've got some because I used to make earrings with them and stuff. And uh, they're just all, I forgot what they're called. Rings? Conchos. They're conchos. Oh, okay. Just, and look at more conchos. These are, I'm a, yeah, just, oh my God. And here's a little box with earring backs and some things. And look at them tiny little players. Wow. Those are so cool. They, they get cool, too. That's some packet. I mean, okay, look at more beading wire. Where did you get it from, Martha? Cynthia, I forgot. I know you told me. Sharon, but you know. her name is Sharon. Um, is she here? Is she on the channel? She comes to my show. She goes to Ruby's show. Is she on chat? Sharon Ross. She's not here. No. Oh, shucks. Um, she's probably not. Here's a bag of these type shell things. And I'm not sure what them are. Them are big, big, big beads. I mean, look at. Oh. Here is some artsy wire. Here is, it's like, man, she didn't, she didn't send me the lid to the container. <laughs> Look at the bracelet. It fits me perfect. Wow. I mean, it's just, it's just, oh my God. Look at, and all these earrings, these are clip-ons. Oh wow! You can you know what you could do with those, Martha. If you don't like what's in the center, you put pull it out, and it's a great frame for a little house, for a little. Oh yeah, I'm all, Yeah, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, just it's. Oh, this thing is just so filled with stuff. I mean, oh, they're just gobs and oodle. Oh, there's a little angel. Oh my gosh. With a little bird or something, yeah. I mean, it's just. There's another ring. Oh, I didn't see that. I get you back, Chris. Another Christmas. ring. Wow. I mean, it's just. Oh, there's some crystals. Just, it's just stuff full of stuff. Then we have. What is this? Oh, beads and some more earring stuff. Hi, the angel. Christina from Barbara. That's an earring. This thing is filled with some more beads, bracelets, couple put together bracelets. Um, we have 
I think ear wires in there. Lost the earring there. Um, more chains, more jump rings. And these are a pair of praying hands. These, oh my God, these I think I'm gonna use in the um my pink Christmas maybe. Wow. Look at that. I mean, just it's got more. There's another ring. This is pretty cool. It comes apart, and you can put a little heart thing in there. And it came with one. And just adds and ends down here. Okay, now wait. Ooh, oh, what did I see? Oh, wait. Wait. Something. Putting up Stamperia and new stuff in the store, so I'm listening. Hey, Nikki, if you, I'm not moving any of my technology, so if you want to link your store, please do so in the chat. Oh my God! Look at this one earring. I gotta find the other one to it. Please link her Etsy store. It looks like it's got real stones in it. This might be something like from Kohl's. Like gold over sterling. Maybe, I don't know, but the stones look really. The stones look real. Ooh, what a find. Huh? Okay, so there's some more stuff in the bottom, but no big deal over that crap. Let me put some more of this. Oh my God, there's just so much stuff. Beautiful. I'll flip the screen. Is that okay? There's enough beading wire. To last a lifetime. But oh. I got one more box I haven't even looked at yet. Okay. So, and then I will be done with this. All right. All right. Let's see what's in here. That's a pretty box. Look at all her boxes matched. All these boxes. They're beautiful matched. boxes. <gasps> oh, these are gemstone. And look at Oh, plastic. A little on the snug side. These are earrings. Oh my God. Sweet. <laughs> I will wear them. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Them are that's not like, quite that's heavy. Like, I might have to take one strand off or something, but ain't that cool? It's like Christmas. I'm telling you, Barbara. Was, I'm Barbara Martha. It's like Christmas. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. We got jade, amethyst, quartz. I think that's a topaz. Wow. Okay. That. Oh, wait a minute. And this. And everything, they all unscrew. Everything in here is red, white, and blue. Oh, wow. And there's got some cute stuff in there. So I'm going to have fun making some stuff for 4th of July and all that. What a cool container, too. Yeah, it's like, man, she sent me all the containers and everything. Except for the lid for the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, well, you have beautiful boxes, so that, that, that sort of evens out. How sweet was that, huh? Unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. She said she was sending stuff. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit more than stuff. That's plenty of good stuff. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna split now. All right. Okay. So while I wasn't talking to my daughter and Martha was showing everything, I all I did was I took whatever wool I put on there and I just started shaping it up by coming at it at different angles. <coughs> and I keep trying to press his nose so that it gets a little bit. Hey, Joanne, Joanne's here. Hi, hey, Joanne. Joanne, when you have a chance, go back. You should see all of the stuff that Martha got. Now, normally, she's got so much stuff, it's unbelievable. I should finish one thought. I'm going to try to not squirrel so much and finish one thought. She got so much stuff, it is unbelievable. You can't. You can't believe and it was a person named Sharon. 
We should all try to get very friendly with Sharon. Whoever she <laughs> who are, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to make fun. It was a beautiful thing. Don't make yes, fun. Very, she very might, helpful of her yes, very helpful. She might not know my humor, so I don't want to. Okay. So normally when I'm making a mouse this size, I do all of the polymer clay work first. I started off on this one by putting the tail so that it's the little guy stands up. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Well, he did stand up before. When, when we were off camera, he stood up. But now he wants to pass out because he's, he's a little shy on camera. He was standing. Stand. There you go. He stands. So after I do the tail, I would definitely do the feet in the polymer clay. And then... I can, the arms are the last thing because the arms bother me. So I always leave them to last because of the fingers and stuff. That's even smaller than the feet and harder to do because at least the feet, when you're sculpting it in polymer clay, you can put it against your, your thing that you're going to put it in the oven and use that as a prop for the thin pieces of the clay. Now, once you finish baking it, you have to be very careful when you pull the mouse off because you don't want to leave the toe there. So you can always take your clay knife and just slide it very gently under. And this polymer clay usually does not um, stick to a clay tile. So, but, oh, the reason why I'm not doing his feet and his hands before I do any of the um, needle felting. And I also, another thing is when I'm finished with putting the polymer clay on the, the skeleton here, I would do his whole body first and then do his head. But the reason why, this is all to let you know why I'm doing his head first, because I need to know if I can needle felt this small. And I haven't shown you the price. Okay, so once you get some wool on it, then your needle is like your sculpting tool. For any of the people who sculpt, um, you use your needle to sculpt. And the more you felt with the needle in certain areas, the thinner or the more tighter that area gets. So you can start to like make the outside a little rounded more. So he is beginning to look like a mouse. Now, what would help is if I did his ears. His eyes are gonna be polymer clay and that's really easy. You just make two small round balls of clay. Uh, the hardest part of that is making sure that both of your eyeballs are the same size. And how, um, how she does the ears is you just take little wisps. Again, this is smaller than I normally do, so it might not come out as well. Little wisps of the color that you want. And I'm, I'm of course, using pink. Try to get them to be the same size. And whenever you're doing two of something, do it at the same time. Because even when even when you're sculpting with polymer clay, if you're doing hands, do both hands at the same time. That way, both of the all of the fingers are the same size. Another little tip for anybody who wants to sculpt. And I'm just sort of going around. It, it's sort of almost like I'm going around my finger. Because I know with this amount of wool, you can't really see. And then she's much better at this than I am. She just brings the wool around and makes an ear. Now, the punch tool, this one, the punch tool blocks. And it's five needles. And in this one, I keep my finest needles in it because usually when I'm using this, I don't need a heavy duty needle um, to work so to work with. This is, I believe, size 40. And they are triangle needles. The lower the number, the thicker the needle. 
most of the time I work with a 38 because that's um, a nice size needle. They can't see you, Megan, because the camera is pointed down. This, I think, is a finer needle than a 38. It's either a 40 or a 42. And let's see. This ear, even though I tried, okay, is far too big. So what we're going to try to do is cut it down. I could also make the ears out of polymer clay. But I'm going to try to do it out of wool. Okay. Oh gosh, still too big. All right, maybe if I felt it some more. Just need a little piece. Have you decided what paper you're going to use, uh, Martha? Why do I keep calling you Barbara today? Are you going to decide what um, paper you're using? Yeah, but I'm not going to use that box. I'm going to go ahead and try to make a like a box envelope. Oh, okay. That way it's going to fit the card tighter. Tighter than? Yeah, that box was just a little too big. A little too, okay. On the sides, though, just right? Not the whole thing. Yeah, it was it was too long. Okay. I had to make a filler to put in there to, so it wouldn't rattle around. I thought, oh, well, we'll just make a new one. It's true, Barbara. I do love you. So I'm trying to think of how to do this. And then the back. We can glue on. That'll be the lid. And that'll be. So this has got to be. Okay. Three quarter. Oh, we're getting there. And add three quarter here. It just might have big ears. So three quarter, three quarter. So that's a one and a half. Oh, and we got five eighths tall. So we want to do one. Yep, that's it. Okay, hold this extra. I don't want it to get stuck. On the back, this is the ear. I don't need it, so I'm just going to cut it off. I don't throw any of these out. Um, I put them all in a little container I have on my um, my other desk. Because if I ever need, if I'm like making a snowman, I'll put this in the center. No one's ever going to see it and start wrapping the wool color that I want around it. So I never throw out any of this. It, it would be a waste to throw out any kind of, um, I think that's going to be okay. Because once I needle felt it in a little bit more, it'll come a little smaller. Plus, I do have to make his head a little bit bigger. Uh, thank you, Barbara. Again, so you're just going around. And again, that was too big the first time. I don't know if I can. <laughs> it's really hard to make these little pieces. I'm going to show you what I'm doing all of this for. You know, Martha, I think that the mounts that I would be making for the hearse that I'm going to do would probably be a little bit bigger than this one. I certainly hope so. Okay. And with, with the, the stab it, wave it, you have to pull your wool up. Even if I had a needle felted some wall, you pull it, you pull it up because you don't want to get it to the point where you can't get it off the surface. And I have to tell you, I love the sound of that. I just love that. I think that was the one reason why I, I took to needle felting so much is I just love the sound of this. Isn't that fun? Repetition gets you in a draze. Yeah. Hey, Nikki. It, isn't it? Oh, I thought she was in the house. No. 
She says, I'm not stabbing anything this week. Too much danger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nikki, if you want to come in, Martha can send you the link. I'm not <laughs> I am not moving any of my technology. It's working for a change, hopefully. Don't take that as a dare, computer. I'm not daring you. I'm appreciating that you're here working. Okay, can someone link Nikki's store? Nikki, could you at least link Slow your store? Slow down, woman. I just got a message from Sharon, so I got to tell her yes. Oh, okay. Nikki, put your store up here. These ladies want to know. Okay. Wait a minute. Can I do it this way? I think that way would look better. It was more. There you go. Nikki added the link. She's putting more Stamperia. If anybody wants to go and get some Stamperia stuff or whatever else. Not whatever else. She's got a lot of stuff. I look at it. She's got a lot of paper and other products. Beautiful stuff. Go look at it. Okay, Nikki, your link is sent if you want to come in. But I have to watch, right? Yeah. Okay. So the other problem is trying to get the ears to look the same. So first, you, so this one is still too big. So if I'm hopefully if I needle felt it a little bit more. And I got to tell you, after a long day at work, this is very relaxing. <laughs> oh, leather effects kit in the store. You'll appreciate this, June. Ooh, leather. Yes. I like that. Okay. All right. And then all this extra fluff. You just cut it off because we don't need it to attach it to the back of his head. All right, glasses off for this. Let's see. I still don't need all of this. And it's a little thick, so I'm trimming it that way. Okay. Now, very carefully... You can put your mouse's head flat if you can, especially on something this size. Carefully start punching it in and watch. And these needles hurt. They really do. So try not to stab yourself. You're going to stab yourself sooner or later. I've stabbed myself. I have leather. Um, Uh-oh. Computer, don't be, don't be making noise. We haven't done anything. I have leather um, fingertips. I don't know where they are right now. Oh, they're right here. Okay. Okay, so let's make this easier. Five, um, six, seven, and one eighth. Whenever I put them on, if I a dog wearing boots, it's like I, 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 I don't can't use the finger that it's on. Oh, and Nikki, I stay. I, uh, I got, I got bruised. I joined the group. Let's see how that's going to work. Oh, that's how it's going to work. So I got to go. Sorry, I'm thinking. That's okay. Okay, I think I got that. All right, there we go. He's got, he's got a little big ears, but we'll, once we put some more um, of the of his fur color down it won't look so big okay so we gotta go <laughs> 10 inches wide it's so cute already I can't stand it 
We're going to go a half inch. No, it's got to be three quarters. All right. So let's see. I don't need three quarters. And then one and a half, which is three quarters added. Martha is making a box for her beautiful card she Two. made yesterday. She finished yesterday. Seven inches. So seven, that'd be eight and a half, right? So we need a three quarters over here. Where's Lynn? How come I don't see Lynn? It'd be nine and a half over here. Okay, that's a great that should be my seven yeah, inches. Okay, now we need a half inch here. I I don't see Lynn. Oh, I press too hard. I break paper. Then we're going to go over here. We're going to do three quarters. Okay, so I'm just putting a little wool over his ears to cover the pink. And usually you use... When you take you take your wool, you pull it out, you usually use the whole thing, but this is far too big for what I need. So don't be afraid if you're doing something to cut your wool down to the size that you could use it as. I'm doing this on the back of his head in case you have a bad perspective on Okay. All right. And I almost poked myself there. No poking. No poking. Computer, no getting, no making that terrible sound. Shh. Just get me through this live stream and then we'll figure out something else. And we'll Okay. His ears are still a little bit big for him, but we can trim them down later. I just wanted to get them on so I had some idea of how big the head. Well, I'll trim them down now because they're bothering me a little bit. And whenever you needle felt something, you're going to have like fluff. The, the fibers that stick out. Well, there's Lynn. Oh, I was scrolling up. Okay. And, um, There's a couple of ways that you can handle it. You can take your, knit, your scissors and just go flat and start cutting. You can also very carefully use your heat tool and very quickly go over, go over it. And that will take, I mean, do not leave your heat tool in one place at all and do it from far away. Because you can burn, you can really burn it. In the wall. I'm melting. <laughs> you can try to go on an angle and stab them in that way. So there's a couple of different ways to um, take care of the little fuzzies that stick out. Okay, I'm not liking the back of his neck. There we go. Okay. Those ears look too big still. They look like bad ears. And he is not a bat. So I'm just cutting them down a little bit to a shape that I like. I don't mind big ears on my mice, but we want to, we don't want to be ridiculous either. All you see is his ears. Okay, get in there. Okay. Okay. So this is the start of him. We see he needs a 
a bit more fluff I get this face to round them out a little bit I also like to make sure there's a little of the color of the fur. I know, he, 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 I didn't finish his body. Um, try to get that a little bit in his ears. Oh no, we lost June. It was like, why is she so quiet? Oh my gosh. I talked to her a little while ago and I said, June, you know it's time. She says, yeah, I got my son, you know, doing some homework on it. And it's like, but then that's my son. <laughs> I says, yep. <laughs> so... She is going to have to break down and get a new computer. And almost, well, she said her son does that. I wonder if she should do a really good defrag, put it on when she leaves to go to work. And, okay, that's got to go up. I cut that one too. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then that's going to go there. So this can be cut off. That can be cut off. That can be cut off. And we got to do a little... That on there, and that on there. And we don't have to do that, so we got to do this. Oh my gosh, I hope she can get back in. And she cannot do it from her phone. She says she tried, and she showed me, and it says, oh, you have to do this from your computer. So don't ask. I don't know. That's all I know. All right, so this is going to be bent over. These are going to come up like that. Nice and square. Yeah, looks good so far. Okay. Something is wrong. No, it's not. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, let's get to gluing some stuff. My computer didn't crash. Oh, it didn't crash. Right, Nikki. She needs a new computer. But it's like, who cares about... Nowadays, all computers... Well, not all computers are the same. I agree. Okay, fine, but... You know, she could get a decent one for 300 bucks. Right. Make sure that's going to be square. And I guess that's going to stick right where it wants to now.
All right, now we're going to take that. We're going to stick it right there. All right, looks good to me. I'm going to get some over here. You can do it, June. Make sure that's nice and cornered. Take your square ruler, put it up there, and press it really good. It's too hard to do it. Okay, so we need glue here. Edge nice and sharp. I guess I didn't press that one down. Then I'm going to take this just to give it reinforcement. Give it lots of nice glue. Fold that over. That's going to make that front piece nice and sturdy. Hi, Marina! He's getting his meds. Alright. I bought the I bought just the tower at a gaming repair store for 120. Been over three years. Gaming tower. Sorry I didn't come in sooner. I was busy taking care of some things. Hey, no problem, Marina. Come on in. We have lost June. She is trying to get her butt back in here. And I am making a box that don't look really too square. <laughs> ruh, ruh, ruh. But it will work. Okay, so now i got to have 7 inches wide by a 3 quarter inch. And then we can have it fold down to, I don't know, how far is that? See, that's 2 inches right there. 2 inches would be good enough, right? Okay, so that's seven. Let's do seven inches first. Let's get rid of that. Let's do seven inches first. That's the width we need. Okay, then we need... Five and an eighth, I think it was. Five and an eighth. Five and an eighth plus seven and an eighth. Seven and an eighth plus another eighth. So that's seven and a quarter, right? Five eight six eight seven eight eight and a quarter. Hi Tracy, come on in. June's trying to get back in here, so hopefully this will work. Okay, so let's get out the scoreboard again. Make sure we got the right size. We got the seven. And a quarter. So that's the length. This is what we need. No, nope, we need the length. So that's seven inches. That's seven inches. Okay, so we need from five and an eighth. So there's five and an eighth. Which we need right here. So we need... I'm going to 
move it up just a hair. Just a hair. And do five and an eighth. And move it back. And then we're going to go, well, don't have to move it back. We are going to turn it around. We're going to do two inches. That ain't right. I'm an eighth. Need three quarters. I didn't give it long enough. Cause there's a two eighths. I should have been. Uh, we'll figure it out though. So we need another three quarters inch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three quarter inch. And that's what's going to be our little fold over. What should have been longer? Dang it all to pieces. But that's the way we're going to do it. Uh, all right. Now this should fit on there. And look at that. There's our little box. Our little boxed envelope. And that's still a little too wide there. Sure. But that's okay. That's okay. Alright. It'll work. It'll work. So, I'm going to take. We're going to glue. But I thought I'd have put double sided tape. So what I should have done instead of doing the, the score marks on that, I should have glued it down first, then put this on the scoreboard and scored it. That way it would be right where I needed it to be. Yep, that's what I should have done. Alright, so. Do that. Right there, I think, is where I want it. Feels good there. Now I'm going to push in my sides to make a match up. Push in my side to make it match up. Glue. So wait till you see what June is making the mouse for. I got a sneak peek. Or mine, you know, that don't show a whole lot, but it, there's something up in there. <laughs> I love you, June. <laughs> it is really cool. I mean, I like her thinking. Me and me and June, if you really think about it, we like to watch the same shows, you know, on YouTube and stuff like that. And her thought process also kind of goes with my thought process on some things. You know, it's like, man, I think we were sisters from another era. <laughs> they told me they were checking into it. Checking into what? Oh, yeah. Go into their damaged ones. You know, the ones like they have on... Well, I don't I want to. Go into Dell. You can go to Dell with like slightly damaged ones and get them cheap. You can't get back in. Oh my God, June. Did you try turning your computer off? Let it cool down for a minute. I mean, you know, I got, I got a little bit of time. No, the question is, June, what time are you going to bed? 
because it's already 820. She's got work tomorrow. But if you got a little bit of time, just your computer's doing okay. Okay, let me let me here. Let me send you another link and see if you can come in. Sometimes just sending a new link might work. Okay, there you go. I just sent it. I get my chat back up. Keeps telling me something went wrong to try again. Well, try the link I just sent. Because sometimes if there's an old link, sometimes it just. But then maybe the new ones does the same thing too. But her project is really. Ta-da! Yay, we did it. Yay. I just really... Well, i got to turn off my phone. Sweet, she made it back. You know, really. This is becoming an Olympic event. And then they weren't getting back to me. They kept saying, yeah, I was talking, you know, you could talk to the StreamYard people. And they said, try it, you know, try it into different things. So I went back to one of the things I gave you guys that I tried to get back in. And it just kept circling dooming on me, circling of dooming. And very, I, I saw, and then it says, something went wrong. Try again. Ah. Well, that, that circle of doom has been going on all day on YouTube. Has it? Yes, it has. Okay, well, I know that Even the floor is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Okay, let me let me show. I started to wrap his body a little bit. Okay, I know it's really hard to see. Everything is beige, and I will be working on him probably off screen because goodness knows how long. But now that I think that I can needle felt his face, and it might take me a while to fine tune it because it's so small. I do want to show you the reason. Martha, I'm going to show them the reason why I'm doing all of this. Thank you, everybody. Oh, God. No, don't tell me that. What? Never mind. It went in. Oh, please don't. Please. <laughs> okay. I was going to say I made it too small. Uh-oh. All right. Let me see if I can do this without... Turning, you know, having an explosion. I'm just cleaning from the door so I don't drop or anything. All right. Well, okay. I had purchased a while ago. I think I need coffee. Should have been something in there. Okay. I had purchased a while ago a paper mache hot air balloon. Put it on yourself, honey. Okay, all right. Put it on myself. There They're gonna go. love this. Okay. I purchased a hot air balloon and because I've been thinking about like when we were talking about steampunk a lot, it got me into the the idea, although this is not gonna be steampunk, steampunk. Okay. I have to turn my camera. Okay. I have made I covered the hot air balloon in fabric, two different types of fabric. One is a, a silk brocade, and I don't know, I think they're both silk brocade. I put that on there, and then I made, I'll explain this in a second, the little basket that the mouse is going to go in. Where'd the little mouse go? <laughs> <laughs> I lost the, oh, here he is. Okay. 
So hold on a second. He's going to go in here. And that's why I'm trying to needle felt such a little guy. Because that's he's going to be in here in his little balloon. Isn't that cool? And she used fish stick, fishnet stockings. This is a, yeah, this is a fishnet stocking that I took some plastic bags and I put it over the balloon. And then I stretched out the fishnet stockings because they were in black and I painted them gold. And that took a couple of coats. And then I started to put some ribbon around it. Hi, Penny. And then these, uh, these are, I needed stiff, stiff enough wire. I really wish I could, I needed stiff enough wire. So these are dry, uh, dry cleaner hangers that I cut up. My girlfriend gave me some. And I just wanted to let you know, I learned something that dry cleaner hangers come in different widths. And I then I took, where are they? I have all sorts of stuff that I'm going to be decorating the, um, uh, the balloon with. Here's the top. Now, I really don't know which angle to go on the balloon. Okay. There we go. Um, that's going to go on the top. Uh, where is it? Oh, I got these. They're called um, glass tubes. And I'm putting them over the wires because the, um, not that wires, the hangers, because I didn't like just the look of the hanger. So, and then what I'm going to do is connect, connect these so that there's like an X in the middle right here. And I'm going to make a little thing that contains the flame. And I can make the flame either by using hot glue or making a mold of the hot glue and put it in resin. So that's where this poor little mousy is going to go. I also have um, these pieces that are going to be going like, I don't know, oh, showing this is impossible on all the, <laughs> oh, I hate cameras. I, you know, I have these, I have a whole bunch of little brass findings that are going to go all around to decorate this up. And then um, I don't know if, if anybody knows fishing because I'm really not, I don't know a lot of fishing. I do. Uh, there's a treble hook, and that's a hook that has like three hooks combined into one. So that's going to be hanging off the side of the basket because that's uh, attached to a rope because that's his anchor. If you, I looked that up on um, Google. And we're going to just dress him in different things. We're not, you know, probably maybe goggles. I don't know. Maybe a top hat. Maybe a leather helmet. I have no idea. But that's why I'm trying to needle felt somebody this small. I think that's it, Martha. Oh, here's some. Um, yeah, everything, you know, like the leather over here, I dyed it myself. And those little uh, things that you see, the little gold things are all little straight pins that I cut and glued into the leather. So it would be a nice um, top and bottom to the basket. And the piece stands like it stands as it is. But by putting these bars across, it will also make it, you know, uh, more sturdy. And then I'm going to take some fishing well that are the small, uh, that look like little balloons. And I'm going to cover them in um, some, I have some fine burlap or material that looks like burlap. 
and I'm going to put them off like a couple of this. It's stand. It's on something that's yeah. Um, put that down on the sides just to add more weight to the bottom to give it some more stability. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Joanne. So we're making a little mouse explorer. And that's Sorry, why we're going to be making some noise. You're going to be what? I'm making noise. Oh, that's okay. Make noise. I always, <laughs> I always make noise. I'm just so happy to be back. Okay, so that's why we're making this little guy. And there's two ways to think about this when I'm putting clothes on him. If I polymer clayed his entire body, which you won't see because if I was adding fabric clothes to him, it would be much easier to do it with a polymer clay body because I could just glue the fabric onto him without doing a lot of sewing at this small size. But at this point, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm probably just going to needle felt his clothes on him or some of his clothes on him so that I don't have to try to cut and so or cut and glue such small small pieces of material so that's that's what we're up to guys so after i have this done i can at least i have the size of how much how big his hands should be which are going to be very small hands obviously hopefully i can even sculpt that's going to take a while but i'm using um what do I use? Primo and Primo Sculpty ha is is a is a firmer clay, so it will be easier when it's firmer uh, to sculpt little pieces and so that they stay where you put them. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Shirley. So that's what we're up to. And making now, I have to make little eyeballs for them. And like I was saying before, if the system didn't um, crash on me, you take a little piece of polymer clay. And this is, I mean, this might even be too much. You um, knead it to soften it so that it's, you know, it's like bread dough. And the hardest part about making the eyes is making sure that the two pieces of polymer clay you use for his eyes are the exact same size before you start rolling them into balls. So however you have to do that, usually what I do, and this is gonna be black against black, is I take, I make it into um, a rod type shape. And of course, I, you know, I try to bring everything over. I'll just use this. You cut the clay. This is not a good thing to cut with because it's not cutting. And you cut the clay into one little piece. This is not what I don't have my exacto blade over here. And then you go in the middle and you cut it. It's easier for me to see if it's even if it's in a if it's in a tube shape. And then you just roll it. Put that down. Roll it in the palm of your hand. Like that. And then you just see. Now this eyeball is going to be a little too big for him. So now I even have to cut it down a little bit more. Thank you, Vic. And it would be easier to cut it down if I had. Oh, I do have my exacto. Just had to stand up to see it. Okay. I could probably take one of them and just cut that in half. Okay. And you get little eyeballs. Am I on screen? What am I doing? You have little eyeballs. And you do the same with the other one. And these don't take very long to bake. I mean, if you bake them at 275 for 15 minutes, they're fine. 
I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose my other eyeball. And then I always put it up against him and see if that would be a good size. And I think that's pretty good. So then after I bake it, after I bake these two, um, then I, I take a little bit of fabric tack. And I'm off screen again. I'm sorry, guys. I take a little fabric tack. And in this instance, I would probably use a pin. And I dip it in the fabric tack and just put it where I want. But first, you always make a little bit of an indent where you want the eye to be. Oh, it's really raining. It's raining? Yeah. It's supposed to rain tonight. Okay. And how you do an indent is you just take your needle and keep poking in the same spot. And you have a little indent for where you're going to put your eyes. And then what I do for the nose, the nose is like the last thing that I put on, on the critter, is I take some liquid polymer clay, which I keep in this jar. Take a little tool, anything you have, that's, you know, not just a little pokey tool. Take some of the liquid polymer clay that doesn't have, and use a pokey tool that doesn't have the black clay on it. And just take a little liquid polymer clay and put it on the tip. And try to push it into the fiber. Now, what will happen is this will harden when it gets baked. But because it's in the fiber, it gives the little piece of, of what I call flesh. It's sort of like a peachy pink translucent clay. And how I did this is just by accident, quite by accident. I colored this by using chalk. Oh, Nadine answered me. Who, thank you, customer support. I should answer her. See, they were having an issue. Thank you. Got it right back. I am back on. Okay. Now, okay, how do I go back to where I was? Okay. <laughs> okay, so then, and I'm not going to leave it here because I still want to do some of the face, but I just wanted to show you while I still have computer, is you put it on here, and it's sometimes it's a fight to get it on. And the bottom of the nose is a V. The top, you're trying to take some clay and put it on the wall. Got a little nosy. Can you see it? Okay. And then you take, I take my pokey tool and just go up. Why is my computer, this camera so blurry tonight? Come on, guy. Could some technology work for me, please? And then you have a little nose. And if it's too big, you can always take some of it off. Don't try to cut your finger. And there you go. You have a little nosy. Can anybody see that? Martha, am I really blurry? Not too blurry, but have you got your autofocus off? I don't have a slightest idea, and I don't even want to go try and see, because then I probably will not come back on. Yeah, you're yeah. right. So, all together, that's how we're going to make a little mousy. 
But what I'm going to do off screen now is I'm, I'm not going to try to do this on screen because I don't know how long I'm going to last. I'm going to do his feet and his fingers because I think that somehow with a lot of little adding of wool, I'll be able to make him really look like a cute little mouse. I still have to do a little bit more here and here and here. And then I have to make... Oh, okay. um, and then I have to make his little mouthy that goes under there. Um, one of the things I want, let me take this off because I don't want it there. Uh, one of the things with the ears is you try to needle felt them like you're trying to make it like curved. So you, you bend the need, uh, you bend your ear and you felt right in between the two of them. So it looks like it's a, it has a little bit of a curve, like a it curves from here and it goes like this. You see how that looks? So you try to do it the other side. And there's always one, oh gee. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're getting calls from everybody now. Is there anything else that wants to happen? Maybe my sh TV should go. <laughs> Maybe my TV should go on. Watch what you're Thank saying, you. woman. Watch what you're saying. Don't be jinxing yourself. Oh, Penny. Oh, did I say hi to Penny? Did I say mm -hmm. hi to Penny? Thank you. Yes, you did. Um, oh, because your pirate eye is blurry. It makes my good eye tear. Okay, well, hopefully it's clear enough that you can see it. So, like I said before, you just take your needle. Alexa, yeah. My I don't God, know. He's so cute. And take your needle and how you, how, the angle of your needle is how the um, wool is going to get felted. So, like I said, it, yes. It comes with well, don't, I mean, like I'm not, I'm not as good a teacher as. Oh, and I wanted to give her link, but I don't know if it's on my. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is where I purchase all of my stuff. It's Sarafina Fiber Art, and this is the website that I told you she also somewhere on the re website has tutorials and most of her tutorials are on YouTube. Um, she does it in sections. I, I absolutely love her. She, she also has, uh, she loves dogs. There's always dogs walking around in a studio. I just love that. Um, she's the one who showed me how to needle felt these, these little critters, but then as with anything, you watch somebody do things like we all do on YouTube and you make it your own. And I didn't share the link. Wow, I'm having so much fun here. Does that work? Did it come up? Yep. So if you're interested in buying quality wool, needles, and the Stab It Wabbit, like I said, I would definitely look at her stuff. You know the wool is, you know, is such good quality that you know that you won't go wrong. And like even the dye lots from one to another, it's always within the, you know, very, uh, I've never had to take, I've never had to uh, use two different dye lots or two different things to finish a project, but they're very close. You know, and you don't really have to worry about it. It's not like knitting or crocheting because you can always feather one color into another. But, and I'm trying to needle felt this down because it's too, it's too thick over here. So by needle felting in this direction, I'm making him thinner on the sides. And so by adding little pieces of wool here and there, he 
he will get to, you know, he'll get to look more like a little mouse. See, it's the shape. I have the shape is coming more and more. If you can see that, where's something white? I don't have anything here. Yeah, I'll use some more. There. Yeah. See, you can see sort of coming more. So even my camera doesn't want to work tonight. Okay. So I just wanted to show everybody that. Um, I'll post updates of him on Facebook because I think until I get my new computer, I'm not too sure about going live because it happens every single time I go live now that I'm having a problem. Good night, Marina. I didn't even get to say hello to you. Hi, Marina. I heard you. Hey, good night, live. Marina. I got some goodies from Marina today. I thought that was Sharon. I got goodies from Sharon, but Marina last night went and had an auction on some trims and stuff. And I commented on her picture today. And so she connected face to face with me and it's, I bought some of her trim that was left over. Oh, nice. And one of them is absolutely gorgeous. It's got pinks and gold. And I says, I can use that in my, um, pink Christmas album. Nice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye out for stuff like, like that, so I can, you know, when I do my pink Christmas album, I'll have all that I might need. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Nice. Excellent. Marina says she still has some left if anyone else is interested. Marina, I don't I don't have a picture of it. Martha, do you have a picture of it? Um uh, I can find one and put it up on all in the details. Or okay. Marina, are you in with all in the details? You can go ahead and post them in there if you'd like. Because some of these girls would probably buy it's what, Bohemian? There's a couple Bohemian trim. She said it's in the group. It's in the group. Okay, well, there you go. Everybody go to all in the details, and you can see what she's got. And if you see that picture with the pretty pink flowers, oh, yeah, that's what I bought. Okay, so it's, it's in all in the details, right? Is that what she's saying? It's definitely there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where I seen it. That was in my own. In my own okay, fine. <laughs> and you have a YouTube channel, right, Marie? Marina, I got two bags of yeah, the paint. Marina's creations. Okay, yeah, so you could um anybody who wants to go and look at, they can just go and um subscribe or look. You know how to do that. Oh, I got it on cockeyed, but oh well. I got toilet paper today. Oh, yay. I got extra toilet paper and my Lysol that I wanted. Oh, you're welcome, Marina. Yeah, and I'm... And I'm also yeah. starting to stock up on beans. We're going to be a very gassy household, but I'm going to have beans just in case. Nikki just subscribed to your channel. Well, darn, Nikki, where you been? <laughs> Hold on. I'll see if I can get you in there. Oh, is she oh, coming in? The marinas. Whose channel? Marinas, probably. A lot of.
Okay. Oh. All right. I got that done. Now, who is... Okay, wait a minute. Got to get in StreamYard. Oh, thank you, Sub2. Good night. Okay, everybody's saying good night to Marina. Good night, Marina. Nikki, how's your foot? Why am I yelling? Here we go again. How's your butt? How's your foot and your backside? Who else? Who else was hurt? Let's get. Let's see. I got a boo boo. I was telling everybody I was joining in, and it was bleeding very nicely. So. I felt left out. I need to know if Barbara got hurt. Because me and Barbara were the only two that weren't hurt. How's your gal, Christine? I don't know. You were hurting at a lot of different places. Trying to remember everybody last from whenever we were. I'm good. Feels better today. Okay. If I'm going to do the letter effects tomorrow, got to have it in the store. Are you going to do the letter effect? When are you going on? Because I have to go out tomorrow night for a little bit. Oh, I can't wait to see the leather effect. When are you thinking of going on, Nick? Normal time, seven. That's eight for me. Okay, good. Right? Because you're doing your time, seven. Yeah, I'll be home by then. So what? Oh. On tomorrow night? Uh huh. We'll yeah. I'll be home by and then. Shirley's saying she's not hurt. Okay, Shirley. Thank goodness, Shirley's. I don't know. Shirley's not hurt either. Sorry, Shirley. I with all the people that were claiming their injuries yesterday, I got confused. So Shirley's not hurt. Okay. So does anybody want to try needle felting? No. <laughs> Why not? Uh, too many crafts as it is. Oh, well, yeah, you got you do too many things. No, I got quilting on my brain too. That sucks. Oh gosh. Oh, quilting. I thought you said quilling. Okay, no, never mind. Quilting. I love quilling. I'm gonna have to try to do that. Well, you know what? We'll what? do FaceTime, do some FaceTime, or we'll just do on a live and we'll play at it. Okay. Yeah. I have the supplies, Martha. You got me so like crazed. I got the not crazy, you know, excited, I should say. I would have felt it fingers, stab, stab. You know, I have to tell you, it's very relaxing to stab. It really is. You get annoyed, you just take some wool, you put it in a circle, and you just stab that thing. And then if you're really annoyed, and recently I should have been doing this a lot more, you can hit it. And look how fun that is. And in no time flat, you have a little circle that you can make into a snowman or whatever else you'd like to do. Or you can call it your cursing tool. Mm -hmm. Yep. A lot of frustration. <laughs> I saw that, Martha. I was looking up. I saw that. <laughs> and I'm watching it on, on the delay on YouTube on my phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm seeing it twice. Okay. <laughs> There's okay. a there was a movie way back when. It's an old one. And um it's about a little doll and his chain Chucky. fell off and he turned live. What was the name of that? Was it Chucky? And you go around with that little knife. Go, ay, 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 ay. I think it was Chucky. No, 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 no. It wasn't Chucky. It was that a little wood Chucky. doll. It was something like from Twilight Zone. Oh, oh I didn't watch yeah. that. One of the movies that had like three short little stories in it or something. Yeah. Gosh. Okay, Victoria, seriously, go and look on the website. I'll share it again if you want me to on the website. Or you can try to, uh, I think her it's uh, Sarah Renuzzi on YouTube. But go on her website. Look at how beautiful nails she did. Go on the website, and I believe it has links to the YouTube channel. You, yeah, I said that right. 
Okay. So, so you, she'll show you how she did the mice and much better because she has sizes that she gives you and you can even buy kits. Okay. Yeah. You're telling you have been watching her. Good. You can even buy kits and you can buy the kit for the mice and it has all the wool and all of the uh, wire that you need. And, um, that, that's what I started with. I bought a kit and I had one that I practiced with. And, he, and I got to tell you, the first one came out like really sort of odd looking, but you learned a lot. And then the second one got better and better. And yes, she did her own nails, Joanne. Yes, Martha does her, does her own nails. You did your own nails, right, Martha? I'm talking yes, for you. Yes, right? I do. Yep, I did them today, just sitting around doing nothing, twiddling my fingers. How could you be sitting around doing nothing when you have so much to do in that craft room? I wasn't in the craft room. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good excuse. How far was the craft room from where you were? A uh, good five feet. Five feet? Okay. Have we heard from um the that, that nice man today? Not today, but hopefully tomorrow. Okay. Are you going to, is he going to be at the place where you're going tomorrow night? Well, if he goes to the tracks, sometimes he's been going to the tracks before he goes to the caboose. And I said, if you go to the tracks, let me know and I'll meet you up there. Oh, okay. So you were going to go to the caboose first? I mean, the no. yeah. No. I'll meet them at the tracks first. Oh, okay. There we go. By adding little pieces here and there, he's starting to take shape. And then, of course, once he gets his eyes, nose, and eyes, nose, and mouth, he's going to look a lot better. Now, P O L L. I need the Y. <laughs> Why? Because I love you. Victoria says, hope you get your Marvin Gaye on, Martha. <laughs> Someday. Oh, Someday. Oh. Okay. What am I looking for? You got me all freaking nervous now, you people. What? Oh. You got me flustered. <laughs> you got you flustered. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness there goes gracious. the cheeks again. Oh, boy. You better wear a lot of blush so he can't tell if you're, you're blushing. Uh-oh. Shush, computer. Shush. I know. I'm ending up talking to it. Whenever the fan goes on really high, I'm thinking that it's going to crash. I, I'm finally back. I flipped and kicked out five times. You see, I'm not the only one, Miss Higgins, I'm had that's having problems. I was missing you. And Lynn loves Marvin Gaye. I don't want to listen to Marvin Gaye because I don't have any prospects, so there's no need to listen to Marvin Gaye. <laughs> What's the one? <laughs> I need your sex. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, be too much of too much commotion. Too early for that, people. It's too early. Really, for I'd have to shave everything. Ugh. Oh, this is not good for a live show. Shut up, June. <laughs> you said shave what? I said <laughs> no legs. Uh, you know, we don't have. I wear pants all the time. Why would I? Yeah, I got to do a little of that too. You know, peachy. Hey, the bearded lady's got nothing on me. Oh my god! I don't even. Well, I mean, let me check. Then you I got, got stubbles. I got stubbles. It's been about a week since I shaved my legs. Yes. Wintertime. I mean, I'm just like with the guys. Let it grow. Yeah. Ah. Why it's not right? work. You gotta, you gotta shave, you gotta make sure everything is looking sort of okay. And then when you have makeup and yeah, and then you know you can't scotch tape things in the right places. It's just too much work. 
Okay. And I've always, always asked people. Oh, where'd my cut go? Poop. Oh, that way. You know, uh, what is the secret? What is... Maybe you ladies know, but what is the secret for a good bikini line? I mean, oh, there's yeah. a secret. There's got to be a secret to it. Not to get all them little nubbies and all that kind of stuff. And I, You're asking the wrong person. Well, maybe they know. <laughs> Um, Victoria says, listen to that Charlie Puff and Megan Trainer. I, I have no idea what we're talking about. So listen to the song that Charlie Puff and Megan Trainer sings. Okay. I think that's about it. If, if I go out between now and by the time we finish saying goodnight, I'm just, if I get back on, I'm just going to shut it down. But I think that's enough for tonight. At least I got his head on. At least I know that I can do something this small, and he fits in his little basket. There he goes. He's good. Let's do it this way. Oh, come on. He's going to be flying around in his little balloon. Okay. So thanks, Vic. I need to clean my plates and get out my brand new ones. I don't know. All right. It's 9.02. Oh, June, can I see the balloon? I missed most of it. Oh, sure, Barbara, because I'm going to be heading out. You go on yourself, because that way they can see a better picture. Oh, okay. Of it. okay. Let's get this out of the way. The less I have. Okay. Here's the basket. And that, oh, by the way, that's all little tiny thin ribbon that was white. And I wove the basket. And then once it was finished, well, uh, once I finished weaving it, I guess is the proper way to say it. I painted it that color to make it look like a basket. And then I put, this is hand-dyed chamois cloth. I think this was the one you can buy like chamois cloth to dry your car and it's very thin, but don't get the cloth, get the one that's the real leather. If you want to let it dye it. And then I, I dyed it here red with some acid dye that I have. And acid just means that you use alcohol or to, to set it. I mean, not alcohol, white vinegar. And then um, to get this darker color, I just used acrylics and painted it. So I made the trim, and then these are all little, those little tiny silver, uh, gold straight pins, and I cut them, I cut off the back and glued them in there so it had little, like, rants, whatever you call it, not rants. What do you call those things that you put into jeans? Whatever. Okay. And Ribbit. this is rivets, right. Good. Thank you. And this what? is, um, Get this kind of stiff wire. This is dry cleaning hangers. And then here's the balloon. If I can pull it out enough. Come on. There you go. Now, this was paper mache, and I covered it in two different co color fabrics. It's not on there yet. Hold on. I colored it, and I put two different colors. Uh oh. Okay, um, I put plastic bags over it and I put a fishnet stocking over that and I painted the fishnet stocking gold. And then I put that on here. And then all this ribbon, by the way, 
was white originally but and i wanted gold so the first thing i did was um when you i find that when you're painting ribbon and you want to get a metallic color you got to make it black but the ribbon did not come in black so i painted it black first and then i painted it gold so then i put that down to hide the seams and then i put this trim i have and there's a lot of other things that i have that i'm going to be putting on this is the top and i have these i love these these brass findings i bought all the ones that the lady had because she didn't have a lot and they were a little on the expensive side and i'm going to put them all around i think on the white part and i am making or going to try to make the jewels a round oval jewel that will go in the center and I have all sorts of other um, pieces, they call, what do they call it, brass stampings, that I don't know exactly how I'm going to put them or incorporate them on yeah, here. Cool. But I will be putting, all, I have all different ones. You know, I'm just going to, that, the, the, the basket is kind of rounder though, right? The basket? How about if you put this, them on the basket? I could, but I have to um, hang. I have to hang. Oh stuff yeah, you got to hang your weights. You got to hang my weights. I mean, I might decorate the basket with some gold trim, also, like you know, going like this, loopy. I I don't know yet. I have to see how everything looks. I have um, these also. Okay. We're not even going to try to do that anymore. These. This. I'm also cutting out little pieces from Venice trim. That might look pretty. Take the trim and cut out little pieces that you want. I don't know if I can find any of the different ones. There's some more in here. There's these. And I found that the only way to try to get these pieces to be as dark as this is I have to burn them. So I have to put them over a flame. I tried putting them in um, vinegar. I read online that if you put them in vinegar, that might tarnish them. I don't know if these are real brass or not. They just could be gold-toned metal. I really don't know. But the best, but I did find that if I put them uh on top of a, a candle or with a, a cigarette lighter that makes them at least get darker so they're not bright because i didn't want that much of a contrast between this one and now my now my camera is all messed up between this one and that there's too much of a difference between the colors so if i if i um burn these to make it get more like this color it matches more So we're going to put all sorts of trim on there. Yeah, we have these things. Hold on. Where do you find all your good little trims and stuff like that? Well, a lot of this I find on that, like what I was telling you before, the One of a Kind Artist Emporium. The OOAK Artist Emporium. I can't give you the link now. But if you just type in... O O A K Artist Emporium, one word, it should call it up. Her um what's her name now? No, oh, I can't think of her name off the top of my head. I think it's Judy. I don't know. But she ships like really those the same place that I got all of those acrylic bubbles for the witch and the bubble bath. She ships really fast, ladies. I mean, and she's got the most exquisite butterfly wings that you can buy on vellum or clear transparency. And you can make your own little butterflies and dragon uh, dragonfly wings. So mm -hmm. I have all different, this is one I burned, by the way, just so you could see. This was, this is one of the ones I burnt. So the color matches this a lot more than these. Cool. It does match it. 
So there's ways to, you know, because I was like, oh, great. Now I have all these things, but none of, none of them match. And that wasn't going to be very helpful because it would look too funny. And besides, these are too new looking for what I'm trying to accomplish here. Barbara says I so, might have some darker ones. I will check. And if I do, I will let, let you know. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, things are flying. So, yeah, so this is a project that when I got um, annoyed with the Witch's Castle because I started it a long time ago, you know, one of those projects you start and you didn't know where to go with it right. after that. And the reason why is because I didn't want to make the basket. The basket was something I wasn't looking forward to making. But once I started it, it wasn't that bad. You know, there's always something in a project you don't want to do because you think it's just going to be too much. Yes. But once you start it, it, it goes a lot faster. Hey, Christine. She's back. Did Jack get off safely? <coughs> I think I got, I think, um, I think I got the right size too. He's not too big. And this is where I'm going to connect all of these together right here. And as I said before, and I'm going to put a little round circle with the flame coming up because that's how, you know, just a little flame. I think I'm going to try to do that, but either way, I'm, I am going to connect the sides. So it's just more uh, stability so that it holds this <coughs> together. And, and then I have to glue this on here. It's just that's going to be one of the, the, the balloon onto the dry cleaner hangers, but that's going to be one of the last things. He's going to sleep. He has to leave at 4 a.m. Oh. Yeah, so that's about it here. I know the... Um, <coughs> On the YouTube, I, uh, I said showing you how to do a Minnie Mouse, but I think you pretty much got the gist of it. <clears throat> got the gist of doing him, his head at least, which is the most important part. Good night, ladies. Good night, la oh, good night Lynn. I'm meeting Lynn, and I'm saying good night, ladies. Yeah, I'm going to be going pretty soon, Lynn, uh, Lynn anyway. So let me just share to show you what Martha is up to. <coughs> I'm coughing and choking. Besides choking? <coughs> of course, I didn't try to get it in the middle, but. Aw, how cute is that? I love them letters. Them letters are, letters are adorable. Awesome. I put little Velcro. But you know what? My card is not done. Your card isn't done? No, because I just thought of something else, too. I've got them little pebbles that I was going to make on the fireplace for Santa's house. Uh -huh. And I'll put a couple little rocks down in here. Oh, how cute. Yep, a couple little rocks. Put a flower to balance it. <coughs> That'll give it some more texture. But I have to find the rocks first. I think they're somewhere down there with Santa's stuff. Or you can go outside and get little pebbles. Well, I got some. They're just in with the oh. Santa stuff. They're oh, aquarium okay. rocks. Joanne says, beautiful card, Martha. Barbara says, so cool, Martha. Christine says, put a flower to balance it. Not quite sure. Yeah, I think a couple right. little pebbles. Yeah. In through here would be really cute. The tree was a great idea in the background by the house. Yeah, it really, cool. it really covered up that mess. That looks great. You it even adds a little bit of the mess in between there, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Okay, hey, Joanne. Next to her name on the box, she wants you to put. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah, it needs something else on there. That's for definite. 
So maybe a little flat. That's it. Okay, what kind of flower? I got some. There's some flower stickers. You really think it needs a sliver of a moon? Oh, I know. Maybe they're right here. Have a little crescent moon? No, but I got some little flowers right here. Oh. I think you know, the crescent moon would be in the sky, right? Surely not on the envelope. Joanne says you do gorgeous cards and paper crafting, Martha. She does. She absolutely does. And dot painting. I love her dot painting. Oh, did I just broke his tail. Did I just break his tail. Wow, okay. that's fun. There's a little flower. Is that better? Oh, that's pretty. Here's another little tiny flower we could put. How about we put Barbara Joanne is asking if you're doing okay. She missed you. Now I'm reading chat to each other. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it right there. Like Joanne can't read chat. There. Oh, we have two flowers. Oh, that's adorable. Perfect idea, Christine. Look at that, that Christine, she's gone, she comes back, and she... Yeah, where does she go? I don't know, but Barbara Duane said she's doing good. <laughs> Just in case she didn't read it. Um, Barbara said great. <laughs> Ooh, hey, 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 hey. There's some sticky pearls. When I put a sticky pearl in the middle of the flowers. Oh, she took hubby to work. Oh, that's why he's going to stay in his truck and wake up a fork. I was wondering why you were making him sleep in the truck. Joanne would like to know how you are, Barbara. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, we're going to let that dry overnight. So there's a little pearls inside the flowers. Okay. Pretty good. Oh, Barbara said pretty good. Okay. <coughs> I think I'm going to be hitting the hay now, ladies and ladies. And, ladies. and I am done for the night, too. Uh, the, maybe Wednesday I'll try to dig out them rocks, and I'll put some rocks in and around here. And... I will get my camera all charged up, and I'll have to take another picture. Excellent. I just want to say, Martha, have a great time tomorrow. Oh, I hope so. In case you don't make Nikki's show, or if in case I don't make Nikki's show. Oh, I'll be back before she goes on. Okay. Thanks, Thanks everybody, for coming in and, and, and hanging out and chatting with all of us. I'm sorry about my computer problems. I'm... I am looking into getting another computer, like Martha said. My son used to do a lot of work with computers, and I asked him to look at, you know, a pretty reasonable tower that is, for, you know, slightly better quality, sort of like maybe a little bit of a gaming tower, so I know that I can stream without any problems. But he's been so busy that he hasn't really had a chance to look out you know, look up, look it up, or whatever, look out for me. Do you me. think that's the problem is the tower or is it your computer? How old is your computer again? My, ta my tower is the one that's really old and that's um, like eight years. Wait, this is, two, yeah, it's a, it's a good eight to nine years old if I'm thinking, of, wait a minute. My husband so died. You don't have a cable Wi-Fi? I, okay, I, my, this tower, you, when I had Verizon first, this to this tower was directly connected because at first Verizon, you can connect it to like a telephone line that was directly to the Wi-Fi. And I never had any problems with it. Then I switched over to another company because I wasn't getting any good deals with Verizon. And that was even worse. 
And then I went back to Verizon. But since I went back, they don't ha like have the wire that connects to the back. So I had to get one of those Wi-Fi adapters for this tower. And that's what's the, the age and the Wi-Fi tower. The Wi-Fi is good in the house. It really is strong. It's just that between this um, thing being old and having to use an antenna that you had to buy, you know, like it's just a, this one looks like rabbit ears because I wanted to have two because one wasn't working well. That's what makes it keep turning off. And I can hear the fan going. I know that we have to um, clean it out, but <clears throat> I think it's just too old. So I worked on getting all my important files off this com off the tower or computer. But my son thinks instead of getting a laptop that I should get another tower because I have all the cameras. I have two cameras, um, but I only usually use this one when I'm, cra you know, crafting. But I do right. have two cameras. And all the new, you know, systems or screens would probably have a camera too. Because I'll get the whole setup. But he wants said your hard drive is dying. Probably. The tower is the computer. Yep. My hard drive is going. So that would just, instead of, yeah. So. A new computer. I just need a whole new thing. But uh, the most important thing was to get the files off of it, the files that were only on this PC. So right. I got all those files off, and I have it in that little hard drive thingy that I have. Right. So. It's just I have to go out and get something else and then have them set it up for me. Right. But, you know, getting a tower, I've been looking at them, and they're I know that what you're talking about is not too, you know, it wasn't that expensive, but he says for some reason, um, no, the power supply is good. It was just put in, new system. Everything is new. I'm hoping it's not about to fry. Who knows? I don't know, but it's just old. I think it's old. I mean, computers don't last no, my husband, I think I got this in 2009. Oh, that's, yeah. It's, or 2010, maybe. So this is 10 years old. It's not, I don't think any computer now lasts 10 years. So, whatever. We'll okay. figure it out. Penny is a okay. good one. And I'm a sorry? couple of your other ladies are pretty good. So everybody start looking for a, a decent, cheap, you, no, not used, but a, a kind of slightly dented, maybe, computer she could get. <laughs> what are they saying? That don't sound too good, Penny. They become obsolete and slow. Yeah, they get old, just like me. It's getting, it's old. Just It's got too much information and it's old. It doesn't want to do anything anymore. Absolute and slow. That's right. They're updated every year and, and for something it. new. And I have to agree with it. I think the power supply yeah. is good. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the power. Maybe I need a new power supply thing. Who knows? Okay. All right, so good night, everybody. Thanks for coming again. Thank you, Martha, for hanging and for, you know, of course, taking over when my computer goes. And well, Nikki's no problem tomorrow. there. It was great. So Nikki's tomorrow, and then and we'll see. Okay. The rule of thumb is upgrade system every three years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this has been a long. It's been a long three years. Very long. I don't even know what the power supply is. Oh, your hard drive. Yes. Oh. Whatever. All okay. Right. Well, good night, everybody. You take okay, care. Good night. Oh, hi. Good, good night. night. Good night. I have to end broadcast and then end end again, right? Okay. All right. See you tomorrow. Take care, bye -bye. everybody. Bye bye. I'm boggling in my head, but okay. Great. I got to do it upside down. <laughs> Bobblehead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That's funny. Oh, and broadcast twice. Okay. <laughs>